Box buzzard, has your brain turned to mesh already? Hola, Capitan! I think the girls are satisfied now. I'm ready to sail. Finally. Come on, dwarf. Get Let's all out of your sail. system. <laughs> He's mouthing, hire me, hire me, hire me. Hey, who are you waving at? Huh. He's waving goodbye to this lovely island. Do we have any more business here? I don't believe so. Alright then, give us a save before you go oh, on the no. boat and we're gonna... We're gonna go on the plains of Africa. Wait, I thought this took place in the Caribbean. Or the Dang. Caribbean, as some like to say. Close enough. Fartleberry. <laughs> just, just let it go. SMH. That's what I say. Okay. We were going in the east, in the southeast, which is bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just go where the GPS tells me. <laughs> War galleon and frigate times two. This is not going to be good. I think I should pass the controller. Let's I'm not, you know. I, Listen, All I right. know my strengths and my my weaknesses. What's on the sh what's on the sh Oh sale? yeah, these are uh, these are things from uh, the thread. Uh, that's that's a pirate shoving a skeleton. <laughs> and um, I don't know how you switch views. Uh, right stick up on the D-pad, something like that. I don't know. Okay. What? <laughs> All right. And oh, hey. That's the hang in there, baby cat. Uh, <laughs> cool. Cool. We don't have that on ours. On ours? Uh, we do. Say so we should have that in our yeah, yeah, there we go. go. There we go. Because that's how I feel when I'm steering the boat. So that's why I pass it off to Judge here. All right. Well, and we also have. It's very hard to see. We have from Melanius uh, a flag of like the coffee, the birding trips thing, and uh, these were from Mug Ticket, I believe. Oh, you're saying the uh, the people's name. The people's name. The you people's said Melanius. So I was like, is that like, some, that show that was canceled on Fox with John Mulaney? <laughs> Mulele. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's time to reload because we have no yeah. method of propulsion. <laughs> if I can make some a few suggestions, you to, cannot. Uh, no, to to the appearance of the boat. <laughs> of course, I'll make <laughs> suggestions about about this fight or how to win. Oh, okay, but you yeah. cannot still. Yeah, I think. Oh, uh, there's George Bush up there. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Can I look at him again, or you gotta steer? it? All right, there he is. See, this is my problem. I, I I lose focus of the game and what needs to be done. All right, well, we lost our method for propulsion wow. again. So, what, what is um, what is going on there, Judge? <laughs> Save us, W. <laughs> yeah, help us. Yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> Looks like you need a little help. That's George Bush. That's my George Bush. <laughs> Perfect. Eh. 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 Hey, look, George is still up there. <laughs> what? George Bush's head. See, he's in the water. <laughs> he's in the water, but he's not in the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 wow, that is freaky. Oh, man. George of the Sea, they call it. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> George eclipse. <laughs> they only, that only happens, uh, I think, twice a year, Tom. <laughs> right. Not nearly enough. <laughs> Uh, Alright, what? Uh, come on. <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. Don't worry. Uh, actually, they, it would have been. It only happens once every eight years. A bush eclipse, they call it. Ooh, yeah. You know? And we're getting ready for another one. Let's go, Jeb. <laughs> uh, Alright, go. Oh, okay. I fixed it. I don't know what you're talking about. Burp. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it one more time. One more. No, sell, sell, sell. <laughs> Green is good. <laughs> and that's all right. <laughs> Coffee is for closers only. Uh, you show them who's boss, Chief. Boss. Chief boss. Chief boss. They call me the cake boss. <laughs> boss, boss. They won't know what hit them. All right. 
This is how we it. do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Great, great work. Now let me let me put uh, judge. I want you to put this up as a graphic on the on the you know, video afterwards. This is gonna be a uh, diaper Chris's keys to the game. All right, All right that's Ooh, yeah. 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 All right. This, Go is ahead. The, this is the keys to the, this this game. Be aggressive. Number one, be aggressive. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two, defense, defense, defense. And number three, be aggressive. All right, those are the keys to the game. It's sponsored by uh, Amazon. The hardest I've concentrated in at least two years. Yeah, you look real serious. Your brow is very furrowed. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Out my way, boat. Ah, coming for you. There he is, coming for oh, you. Oh boy. Hey, language. <laughs> ah, the sails. Oh, no. <laughs> We're fine. What is that noise? Oh no, it's a beaver on board. <laughs> the better, dang ship. There. Tom, go out there with the broom. Get the beaver on. <laughs> it's a beaver. I thought it was beaver. somebody unloading their shotgun. It's a shotgun. beaver on board. Sorry. Oh, that's God, great. No. It's a beaver. He's going to pee in a mop bucket. Get him out of here. <laughs> that sounds like yeah, a good... Bill Clinton. <laughs> that sounds like a good gag. <laughs> oh yeah, come this way. Come to my realm. Yeah. Oh no. Boss, almost got him. Boss, almost I don't got think him. this looks good, boss. This, look, no, he's... We might be able to do this. Hey, you might be able you to do, do this. It, boss. You might be able to do this. Get him. Oh, no. It's fine. There we go. All right, now what do we do? Uh, <laughs> bro, let's go back to my keys of the game. Uh, be aggressive. Yeah, be aggressive. Be aggressive. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of sales left. <laughs> Capture a little bit of wind. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got Tom, it. you got any uh, paper towel rolls we can put up there? <laughs> uh, take my pants off and we'll <laughs> tie them up there. <laughs> <laughs> Since I weigh 500 pounds, they're huge. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're big boy. <laughs> they're big boy pants for sure. Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm debating going back to harbor because... The gentle rocking of the ocean is not going to do the trick here. You look like you're in good shape. Just go on that boat and take their sails. Uh, hmm. I wonder if that'll work. You usually have to sidle them. Sidle? Yeah, hey, a sidler. Is that a word? <laughs> is, that a, is that a boating thing? Is, it, is the George Bush sun inspiring you to make up these the words? George Bush moon. <laughs> the George Bush moon. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? He's not, the moon isn't out, Chris. You see, there's a sun and there's a moon. They're uh, not the same object. Hello, sun. Good night, George Bush moon. Yes. Take their sails. Life begins at 40, man. I'm only 32. <laughs> Wine is my lifeblood. Okay. <laughs> now, they didn't have any sails. They do got silk, which I believe you can make into sails. It'll be the first pirate ship with silk sails. What do you think the thread count is on our sails? Five. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know how to do it back then. They didn't have machines. Or globalization. Uh, just ropes they tied together. <laughs> they were very scratchy. They were, oh, uh, okay. The sails are back for some reason. <laughs> we wished hard <laughs> enough. Get some supplies because you boarded the boat. I didn't take anything. Though. Maybe I did. Okay, get on this one. All right. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna get all our sails back. You think I'm crazy? You think I'm? Look at Chris Raven. Dang, she's at. Sorry. It's good. Okay. Be brave. Let's see the sails. Bring the sails out. See. Even more. This is the same amount of sails. You can't <laughs> fool me. Oh. Excuse me. Jeez. Some people are so rude. All right, let's get this this guy. So what are we this, out here? This guy's got to have whatever we're looking for. <laughs> this guy's got to be uh, Brady. Old. Right, yeah. Or well, Kensington, maybe? Definitely one of the two. He's somebody <laughs> for sure. 
Or a new foe who we have not encountered yet. <laughs> Brady Kensington. <laughs> <laughs> it's he a woman. Combines, he combines all the, the strengths <laughs> and none of the weaknesses of those characters. <laughs> he He's Brady Weedy Kensington. <laughs> he forms like a really boring Voltron. <laughs> and he, he talks your ear off. All right, you gotta sidle this guy. <laughs> this is great. And yeah, we're coming. Get me a fishing rod and I am in heaven. Oh, yeah, get, get away a from of, a couple of PBRs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that, is that the, the dwarf? They really they really undersold his height. Where's he at? That guy. Where? The right there. This guy on the left. Oh, he's so short I didn't see him. <laughs> No, he looks like a normal. I still don't know what you're talking about. There's no, there's no dwarf on the ship. There's that guy who's hanging out over the edge, as usual. Or is that Donovan? I, I, who is this? Where is Donovan? Wait, is this Dan Rather they were talking about? <laughs> hey, terrible captain. You don't even know your crew's names. No, he lost an arm. Oh, I, all right, good. <laughs> no, it's like in Back to the Future. When his parents don't get together, he starts fading away. That's what's oh, happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is like a timeline. Yeah. It's our, di our different t time thread. Right? Uh, Why don't you burn it? I am burning it. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Take that. So did we win? Yes. Maybe. Oh, you sunk Kensington's ship. That was him. He was the ship. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Old uh, belly button Brady's gonna be so happy. He's dead. Oh, Brady's dead too? Yeah, all the great characters are gone. <laughs> ah, there we ah, go. It's a secret staircase. A completely logical layout to a house. It's this guy. Ready for the journey? Just about. And how was the hunt? Easy enough. How's your mother? Survivors, I assume. No, I need not know that. In fact, I just need to hear that you are ready to continue on. The sooner the better. You will need to become acquainted uh -oh. with this Christopher. <laughs> Another accident. Yeah, the camera. Oh, no. No, this man's position is somewhat high. Too high for him to fall without excessive scrutiny. Chris Reagan's such a horn dog. Sounds like <laughs> his eyes are on the landing. Come on, man. <laughs> there will be far too much noise. And his position makes him more useful as an ally than a corpse. A bribe, then? Hmm, no. No, he makes far too much coin to risk his standing by taking a bribe. They shouldn't that have record all, recorded all these lines in an empty the auditorium. The question is a Monsieur Touché, the governor's personal secretary. He is very comfortable where he is, and he doesn't believe any changes are necessary. And Kensington still got to him. Actually, he did not. And therein lies our opportunity. He can be quite useful in undermining Kensington. We kill Kensington or not? Persuaded to do so. Uh, we killed his boat. It will be up to me to persuade Killed his boat dead. Yeah, which uh, damaged his ego, but good. Receptive. That guy's like, my boat. Even before Kevin Costner right. did it in Waterworld. <laughs> take a bribe, and you don't want him killed. Yes. Oh, these two well, yak, 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 yak. Just, just wipe that map off that table and just go to town on each other already. Chris Raven, <laughs> come on. It's that we may exploit. You know, Can't keep his eyes off those pantaloons. He's, a a rather well -known he's, re he's real gun shy after that nun dumped him. <laughs> <laughs> An establishment which I'm told you happen to know as well, full of sinners, young fallen women. Everyone knows about Maria's. I know the place and the owner. I know you do, Christopher. Hence the plan. I hate to disappoint you, but he won't be the first one caught visiting the girls there. 
I'll bet his friends already know. Hell, they probably hell. Use he's, he's a hell. <laughs> Chris Raven's a nerd. Wow. Wife, I don't think it'll make him guilty. <laughs> Get down from there. But that is the key, Christopher. You see, Mr. Touche's tastes demand a rather particular type of girl. A gold-plated girl. With cropped hair and with a very... There is no... Oh. Very flat chest. Wow, what a weirdo. <laughs> there are more details which I will spare you. Vile, filthy details. But they all add up to one inescapable conclusion. Mr. Touche seems to prefer men to women. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, indeed. And buggery is, as you know, a capital offense. Due to his standing, Mr. Touche would probably find himself beheaded rather than hanged. But I doubt he would enjoy either. He's managed to find male prostitutes before, but so far, he hasn't requested one at your friend's establishment. Yet. So... How do we catch him with one? I put my full trust in you, Christopher. With your mind, and your friendship with the woman who runs that business, I know you can arrange a compromising meeting for Mr. Touche. Then simply give him this letter. It informs him to come and see me so that everything might go away. God will still judge his sins, but the governor will not. I think it can be arranged. I had no doubt. May God's hand guide you. Can we change Christopher Raven's hat into like a nacho bowl? Which you would send. Uh, <laughs> with a salsa, sure like a chip and dip? That. But it's not going to be free. I also have some suggestions I, I for the boat. Expect your friend will do this hey, I got some suggestions for you. Fortunately, suck an egg. I know how to speak her language. I presume this what are your suggestions? I, 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 I'm interested in what these guys got to talk about. Oh, please, anybody. What if he refuses? I'll save my suggestions until the conversation is over. God, we're never going to hear him. We're all going to die. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to die in this chair. I'm contracting scurvy as we speak. We'll be right back after these messages. And then, <laughs> the shock on the faces of my good friends in the church. Why? The bishop would have Mr. Touche banished from these islands. I think that they just ran out of space for the other voice files. They just put these in first. They're like, oh no, what do we do? We thought this game could fit on a CD-ROM. I've hunted an old pervert. Ah, sweet, merciful Jeebus. That's what they call Jesus on the internet. I refer to him as Jesus. Go see Maria at, uh, dear Lord Jeebus, where do they say to go? <laughs> Christopher! <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. We have no business to take care of. Could it be you've come for pleasure? Not for me. But I want to arrange something for a oh, friend. Oh no, not this wacky brothel or people. <laughs> <laughs> generous of you. Look at that guy's giving you the stink guy. They call this they call this the Pathfinding Ranch. Does he want something in particular? <laughs> He's actually one of your regulars. Ah, uh, okay. I'll He's trying to act cool now. Nonchalant. Just like that uh, prostitute back there. In. Check that out. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, ooh. ooh. What are we playing at? Who are we talking about and why isn't he the one telling me all this? His name is Touche. He's the governor's secretary. Chris, this ends here. Being discreet is how I keep this business going, and I'm not going to. That and Groupon Come discounts. On, Maria. You know what he likes. I need you to give him the real thing. Not a girl made to look like one. And once he's done, I'd like to have a word with him. Are you insane? You think I'm going to let you blackmail a customer? I never even discuss my customers, especially not one of his standing, and certainly not with you. Goodbye, Christopher. Would this convince you? Oh God, he's gonna do a sexy dance. Led. Something heavier. Well, it might help. No, 
It's impossible. What? I can't afford to lose anyone's trust. Did she just? Yep. Can't afford to did he just bribe her with what I thought he did? How do you even know? Him? Oh no, you got an item. Oh. Don't worry. Well, I didn't see that. one. And you're not going to lose anyone's trust. Don't worry. Touche's going did to you think that he bribed her with friend. his scrot? Just doesn't <laughs> yes. All I need is a little bit. <laughs> oh, let's take a look at this <laughs> package. <laughs> and it's really <laughs> down there. If you play back the tape, you'll see it. Why yeah. is one side yeah, heavier than the other? He's like, ugh. It's like that for all guys. Information. So they call me <laughs> Biggie Smalls. <laughs> I had to replace one with a cannonball. <laughs> Can con. Can con. No, no, no. Cannonball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The camp. Oh, what did she say? Um, something. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not that you know him. He's hardly the kind who'd come visiting. Edward Avery. Mr. My Shit Stinketh Not. You know him? I know of him. Unless there's another Avery who's in close with every fat The guy in the stairs is getting fed up. He's waiting for service. How did you two get together, anyway? I'm just gonna wait upstairs. There isn't a bishop's by myself. <laughs> Most of them owe their office to him. Is like I'm just gonna go get things started. Gladly see my place burned. But if they knew how much their own bishops visit. That's right, Maria. He's very close with the clergy. The kind of man who can make every two-bit preacher on these islands shut up about your business for good. I wish somebody would shut up. <laughs> Help me He's out back. Here. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> I finished. That was quick. It won't be long before two days. I don't need you. Wasted all that money. will remember that you helped him. All right. I'll take the gamble. Just what you've asked for. He's only been getting girls here, made up to look like boys. I don't deal in boys. It's not worth the heat. Even Gus has stopped offering them over the flamingo. And you know him. He'd bend over himself. The flamingo's even enough. invented yet? I can arrange 16th the century. Cliche, but I don't have the dish. I guess I don't need to ask if you know where to find one. A flamingo? By the church. Last place you'd look. Anyway, the sooner we get him over here, the better my girls will be able to doll him up. It takes time to make a man look as pretty as a girl. <laughs> I can think of a quick way. I'm not in the mood to joke, Maria. Who's joking? I'm just letting you know, Christopher. Can't one of your girls get that boy in here? That might attract the wrong kind of attention. Unlike you, we need to appear to be law-abiding citizens. You run a brothel in the city. I don't understand. In here, we're discreet, Chris. That's all that matters. I know you're not all that comfortable with this, but don't worry. The boy won't bite. Unless you pay him to. <laughs> <laughs> that was the boy. <laughs> First time in a while, I'll wager. How much will it don't cost worry. to dress him up like They're a nun? Usually outside. <laughs> <laughs> Look at a young man. There is a pouch of money. The old That's what it was. Hello, Mr. Stevenson. <laughs> Why, thank you, sir. Oh, boy. I to try. Speaking of which, are you here to try something new, perhaps? Phasing through men, perhaps? Sir, I'll just sit here man, and watch. Is he with you? He took off in a hurry. Now he's back. Sir? It's your lucky day, boy. Consider yourself hired. 
Oh, thank you, sir. But I'm not looking to join with any ship now. I always get so seasick. You know what I'm talking about. And this will pay better. The voice, than the, old the boy's face looked more realistic than any of the other character models. Sir, the gentleman was merely asking for directions. Yes, and I know where those directions would have led him. I'm hiring you to entertain a rich friend of mine. Sir, what you are talking about is a crime. And. 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 if I were the kind of person who would do what you're describing well. How would I know you are trying to set me up? I've never seen you around here before. Not that I am one of those people, mind you. This guy thinks that Chris thinks he's Maria's a gamer. <laughs> You'll be putting on your he's really embarrassed. There. But pardon me, that establishment is ladies only. I mean... And as a gamer, I, of course, <laughs> am not allowed to go inside. You'll be entertaining a very special customer there. I... I simply don't understand, sir. You'll get the details at Maria's. All you need to know is that you'll be getting four times as much as you'd be getting for turning tricks in this alleyway. It'll be safer, too. I... I... Well, I... Are you telling the truth, sir? Come on. What a gamer lie. Be sorry. Oh, boy. Yes. Walking mission. Oh, do you slap him on the butt? Did you see that? <laughs> God, come on, boy. Hey, that, he does, see? That's the gamer's hey. credo. It's the gamer's... It's, that's what you do. It's what a gamer lets another gamer know that he's a gamer. Yeah, that's what you do. You say, after a good, like, League of Legends game, good, good game. You slap him on the butt. And they call me John, sir. Good for you. Sir, about your friend, you're not... Well, you're not the friend, are you? You sure you aren't just being This caught? game is just the worst. No. About your friend. Do you have his gamer tag? If you know I'm not saying I'm a gamer, but right now. Yes, sir. Here he is, Maria. Well, I can tell he's not a customer. All right. Step aside, Christopher. I'll take care of the rest. This calls for a woman's touch. He's a pretty boy, but making him into an attractive girl will require a few tricks. I'd rather not know. Just know I'm earning every coin in that pouch you brought. We'll have him ready soon. Just in time for Touche to show up. Feel free to wait. Just don't interrupt us. Chris Raven's gonna be hiding behind the chair with his cheese hat sticking out, like giggling to himself. He's like, I can't wait to say touche to touche. It's <laughs> gonna be a good prank. Welcome, sir. Oh, he's here. To see you Is this touche? <laughs> Better shove him to make sure. <clears throat> I assume everything is ready. It is, sir. In fact, I have a surprise for you that I think you will enjoy very much. A very unique one. What Touche doesn't know is we have a hidden camera on him. <laughs> oh, what kind of surprise? Something fit for those with certain tastes. Something you will only find here. Chris Hansen's gonna jump out. Discreet as always, and more than worth your time. If you could just take a look. <laughs> He's sir. gonna read some embarrassing Surprises emails in his <laughs> Touche exchange. <laughs> Did you write this? I hope you have condom. <laughs> well, well, I was trying to warn him. Uh, have a seat. That's what he says. He says, have I a can't seat. control my horny level. <laughs> Did you write that, sir? That's my favorite. Well, yes, Welcome, but. Sir, they call me Joan. I'm here for your entertainment. Oh, my, my, my. Uh, madam, this is too much. How did you. I knew you'd enjoy the surprise, sir. I shall leave you alone for now. Yes. Go about your business. Oi, matey. Haven't sailed in a while. Been wondering if I miss much. Count your blessings. Ah, uh, are we supposed to do something? You don't say. Oh, that's the... that's John. Oh. He's not subtitled. You have truly outdone yourself today, mistress. Touche, have finished. I'm glad our surprise has met with your approval, sir. <laughs> have you finished? 
Thank you, madame. Yes, still waiting for service. Thank you ever so much. I shall be returning far more often now. Did you finish? <laughs> there he is. That's him for sure. And who might you be? Do I know you? You don't, but I know you. And I know the boy you just spent some time with. What? No, oh, you? How? How dare you accuse me of such things? Roger, Roger, remove this ruffian from my sight. You talking to a radio? Hit the guard. Oh, God. Hashtag hit the guard. <laughs> this man is out of control. He just hit the guard. You know what happens to bugglers, Mr. Touche? You? You have no proof. No proof of those... those filthy lies. I have the boy. A, a filthy street urchin. Who would believe a lowlife like him? A, a pair of lowlifes. You're standing outside the brothel. <laughs> enough people will, Mr. Touche. You need to be smart about this. Even the rumors alone would be bad for your reputation. Don't you agree? A man of the church, a uh, disgusting, lecherous buggering. All right. In God's name, what, what do you want? Why are you doing this? Relax. I'm not here to out you. In fact, I just want somebody to talk to you. It's been five minutes since I had an obscenely long dialogue with somebody. You just need to talk to him. What? Who is that man? Did this new friend of mine arrange all this? Watch your mouth and remember who you're talking to. Read this. God in heaven! Avery! This is his doing! You're a smart man. For a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is, that guy's cool. yeah, I don't trust that guy. I don't trust that guy for a second. He's like, I gotta hear more of this. Yeah, pervert buggering. How does he expect me to help? Am I to be a pawn in this insane obsession of his? Just go talk to the man. Wait a moment. You've no idea what I mean, do you? He sent you here. But you don't even know why, do you? What about it? The patriarchs! That's what this is about. About Avery wanting to take Kenzie's oh place among them. <laughs> do you want to learn more about the patriarchs? Lord, no. It only triggered more of Tom's insatiable. All right, yep, we got more. No! <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on to your... Brady butts. Hold on, let me load up the Metal Gear wiki. <laughs> but only those at the top know of them. Of course, most of them are. This turns out to be an Illuminati thing. <laughs> I hit it the last 10 minutes of creating this game. Like, wait, we need to add this game be big. In the ocean. These men make the rich look like beggars. They have their fingers in every pie in the West Indies. A sex They're thing. That would be pretty cool. It's a baker's thing. <laughs> it wasn't an Illuminati thing, like the last boss is like, you know, the pyramid <laughs> with the eye and stuff, but like because you replaced the art assets, it's George Bush in the middle. So you've got to be rich to become a patriarch. What's the point then? <sighs> What's the point of having a ship full of gold when you already have a room full of it? Becoming a patriarch is, it's just more than anything you imagine. It's like being a mere merchant one day and then being crowned king. You have to father a child, and that's it. able to accomplish in the Caribbean when they're together. Nothing. That's why Kensington and Avery ate each other. Ah. No. Get all that time? each other's throats for I'm a long taking time. taking copious they notes. For years. Kensington was in financial trouble at some point, and Avery moved in. They were wacky roommates, and they drew a line down the center of the house. It looked like he was about to become a truly influential man. But then, somehow, Kensington bounced back and overtook Avery again. <laughs> Tell me more. So what does this have to do with Avery and Kensington? Kensington has been one of them for several years. Avery is desperate to join their ranks. They could vote him in. But Kensington would never allow that. Damn Kensington. <laughs> Rush patriarchs. That's what they do. One must be noticed, invited, 
and then vote it in. <laughs> a lot of bureaucracy in the Illuminati. Believe me. You seem to know a hell of a lot about these That guy things. back there, he's like, hmm, Illuminati, eh? He's just walking around I pretending to do other things. He's like, he's like you fingering through some magazines. Of a few friends. Like a pretending to microwave a breakfast burrito. And you don't care about me knowing all this? If you can keep this small, <clears throat> vice of mine quiet, I don't mind anything. I can afford this to come out. It's hardly the kind of thing I could have swept under the rug. I'm not a patriarch. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> Ask him about the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go talk to Avery, and this will all go away. I will. But the man is playing a dangerous game. His obsession with becoming a patriarch will cost him one day. I thought he killed that man. Oh, it's credit information. Yeah, we're gonna downgrade it. <laughs>